breath, and then when you let it out, you just fall. And somebody has to catch you, preferably somebody trustworthy. But mm -hmm. when you fall, it is the longest damn like one second of your life. It's really cool. I mean, I wouldn't trust me to do it because right. if I'm hot, uh, you can't. I'm not going to catch somebody. No, I'm not, not going to catch somebody. That's not the option. I just I'll walk away and let them play fall. video games or something. <laughs> but I'm going to catch somebody. No. Where was this? I don't know. I've done it a lot of places. Oh. What's up, man? With an umbrella. I'd probably um, take the prongs out. Take the prongs out, yeah. Oh, you, the, speaking the of the prongs. Handle, it's kinda, I'd probably jam the handle up my ass. Mm. Speaking of prongs, when I was in the hospital and I had an infection, and I had that catheter, holy oh, shit. Did I tell you about the catheter experience? I couldn't shit because I was so stopped up. But anyways, I was there, and my friend's stepdad, who knew my mom, was there from a eight because he's a cop, and somebody got shot and he was in the hospital until he went to jail with, so he had to watch a dude. And so I was fucking around with the guy that was scary to put the catheter in. So I just want to let you know I have this condition called my grumpiness. <laughs> well, yeah, that's typically not the case, okay? And so he's like, it's okay, it's okay. I do too. So he gets ready to put the catheter in. I'm like, holy fuck, this is going to hurt. And he has this long, stringy blue thing. And then so I'm sitting there fucking naked with the guy getting ready to stick some tube up my dick. I'm like, and then he looks at me and he's like, motherfucker. And man, I swear it's like that one, I don't know, it's really not that one, but they shove it so far in there and it's slow. Feels like a centipede with them little poppy things you do on July 4th. Right. And it's just like pop, 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 pop. Like, and I was just screaming as loud. I was like, fucking shit, damn it, blah, 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 blah. And he was, I'm sure he was out there laughing. And so once everything got taken care of, when they go to take it out, they don't pull it out the same way they put it in. They yank the bitch out. It just feels like a whole centipede is exploding inside your dick. It fucking hurts. Mm -hmm. So if I ever get to that point again, I will take 400 laxatives before I ever have a catheter. <laughs> I will not let my balls swell up to the point in piss, a liter and a half of piss. It was the worst experience I've ever had. When was the last time you got laid? Man, look at that face. Whew. I don't even want to talk about it myself. I don't either, to be honest. God. November. Nope. A month ago. Whenever yeah. Ashley. I don't, I don't know. Right now. It was good, though. Got a dick in me and got fucked? Yeah. Probably a year. Damn. Mm hmm. I'm going to have a McDonald's parking lot about a month or two ago. Did I tell y'all about my tattoo I did? I told Austin what I'm going to do is. I'm going to get Christ on the cross right here and death before dishonor. And then, I've, right now I can't remember the verse, but it says the same power that conquered the grave lives in me. So whatever that verse is I'm going to have here, I'm going to have a phoenix right up underneath it, mm -hmm. which represents rising from the ashes and in its talons or whatever. It's going to have a hole in each hand because when Christ rose from the grave, you know, he had the holes in there. Right. So I think it's really cool. It's symbolic it and it's cool. Mm -hmm. And I don't know where my phone is. Kind of looking forward to watching this because I don't remember any of it. <laughs> <laughs> 240s and whatever over there.